I never imagined my life taking such a wild turn. It all started with my secret love for women's clothing, which I thought would always remain hidden. But then my wife Lily discovered my hidden desires and decided to punish me by turning me into her personal French maid. At first, I was resistant to the idea, but something about the soft, feminine fabrics and the way they hugged my curves in all the right places made me embrace my new role. Lily started seeing me in a new light, and our relationship took on a whole new dynamic. But that's not even the half of it. You'll never guess what happened next. The secrets, the discoveries, the kinks we never knew we had. Keep watching to find out what happens when a man becomes a French maid. I've always been fascinated by women's clothing. From the moment I saw my mom in her red high heels, I knew that there was something special about these clothes that women wore. As a teenager, I would sneak into my sister's closet and try on her dresses, skirts, and blouses when nobody was home. It wasn't until I got married to Lily that I realized how much I enjoyed cross-dressing. I kept it a secret from her, afraid of how she might react. I didn't want to lose her, but I also couldn't stop the feeling of wanting to wear women's clothes. I developed a routine where I would wait until she was out of the house to put on my favorite pieces. I loved the feeling of the soft fabric against my skin and the way it hugged my curves in all the right places. I felt free and confident, something that I didn't feel in my everyday life. But my secret was bound to be uncovered, and one day Lily came home early from work. I panicked when I heard the front door open and quickly threw on a robe to cover myself. I tried to act normal, but she knew something was off. Alex, why are you wearing a robe in the middle of the day? She asked, eyeing me suspiciously. I stumbled over my words, trying to come up with an excuse, but she wasn't buying it. She took off my robe and saw me dressed in her pink silk nightgown and matching slippers. I felt exposed and vulnerable. What is going on, Alex? Why are you wearing my clothes? She demanded, anger and confusion etched on her face. I didn't know what to say. I felt ashamed and embarrassed, but I also felt a sense of relief that my secret was finally out. I took a deep breath and told her everything, from my teenage years to my current routine. She listened intently, and when I finished, she was quiet for a few moments. I thought she was going to leave me, but instead she surprised me. I'm not sure how to feel about this, Alex, but I'm willing to try and understand. But you have to promise me that you'll never keep anything from me again. I felt a sense of gratitude and love towards Lily that I had never felt before. I promised her that I would be honest from now on, and we hugged each other tightly. As the days went by, Lily and I tried to navigate this new aspect of our relationship. She wasn't thrilled about my cross-dressing, but she was willing to tolerate it as long as I kept my promise of being honest with her. But one day, I made a mistake. I forgot that Lily was coming home early from work and didn't have enough time to change out of my favorite outfit, a red lace lingerie. I was in the middle of admiring myself in the mirror when Lily walked in on me. She was furious. Alex, how could you do this? You promised me that you wouldn't keep anything from me again. I tried to apologize, but it was too late. She was already coming up with a punishment for me. You know what? I'm tired of this, Alex. You clearly can't control yourself, so I'm going to have to teach you a lesson. I didn't know what she meant until she came back with a pile of clothes and makeup. Put these on, she commanded. You're going to be my French maid for the next week. At first, I was resistant. I didn't want to wear a frilly dress and a ridiculous headpiece, but Lily was insistent, and I didn't want to upset her even more. So I put on the outfit, feeling silly and exposed. I spent the next few days learning how to serve Lily as her French maid. She would give me specific tasks to complete throughout the day, from cleaning the house to making her coffee in the morning. I quickly learned that her satisfaction was my top priority. I started to embrace my new role, enjoying the feeling of wearing the lacy black maid uniform and high heels. It was like stepping into a new persona, one that was confident, obedient, and eager to please. Lily also seemed to be enjoying my new appearance, often complimenting me on how sexy and feminine I looked. 
She even started to give me little rewards, like a pat on the head or a kiss on the cheek, whenever I completed a task to her satisfaction. But it wasn't just the rewards that I was enjoying. I was also discovering a newfound love for cleaning and organizing. Something about it was soothing and satisfying, like I was bringing order to the chaos of the world. One day, Lily came home early from work and caught me cleaning the bathroom on my hands and knees, my short skirt hiked up to reveal my black lace panties. Instead of getting angry, she seemed turned on by the sight. As soon as I finished cleaning, Lily emerged from the bedroom in a sheer black robe that barely covered her body. Her eyes widened as she saw the state of the house. Wow, Alex, you've done an amazing job, she purred, running her hands over my body. I think you deserve a reward. She led me to the bedroom and instructed me to strip down to my lingerie. I felt a thrill run through my body as I obeyed her. I was already aroused from our earlier activities, and I could feel my arousal growing. Lily instructed me to sit in front of the vanity mirror and began applying makeup to my face. She accentuated my eyes with dark eyeliner and mascara, applied a subtle blush to my cheeks, and finished off with a bold red lip. When she was done, she stood back and admired her handiwork. You look stunning, Alex, she said, a hint of desire in her voice. She then produced a box from under the bed and pulled out a black satin corset with matching thong panties and stockings. She helped me put them on, tightening the corset so that it cinched my waist and accentuated my curves. Perfect, she said, admiring me from all angles. Now it's time for your punishment. My heart raced with anticipation as she led me to the bed and instructed me to bend over. She pulled out a paddle from under the bed and began spanking me, alternating between soft caresses and sharp blows. I moaned with pleasure and pain, my body writhing with each strike. When she was done, she lay me down on the bed and straddled me, her own arousal evident through the sheer fabric of her robe. She teased me, running her hands over my body, kissing me, and whispering dirty words in my ear. I was putty in her hands, and I surrendered completely to her will. I had never felt so vulnerable and yet so powerful at the same time. I was her French maid, her submissive, and I loved every minute of it. As we lay there, spent and sated, I realized that my journey into femininity had only just begun. With Lily as my guide, I was ready to explore new depths of pleasure and submission to fully embrace the feminine side of myself and to become the perfect maid for my mistress. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.